Hey, good morning. It's time for Pastor Rick's Reflections. Today is September 1st. And um, as I was looking at a few things this morning, I realized that today is the anniversary of the start of World War II. September 1st, 1939. It's when uh, the Germans and Adolf Hitler began his uh, start, I guess, with the air attack on uh, the country of Poland. And that started, well, all the dominoes. Uh, which brought about World War II. The reason I bring that up, you know, fortunately in my lifetime, uh, we haven't had any kind of conflict that is that horrible uh, involving that many countries. Uh, but we also look at so much of our history that we have today was shaped uh, by those events. M many of you, you know, had family, member, family members who uh, fought during the war during that war. Um, you know, we've had, uh, you know, people who have been members of this church, and we also, um, you know, had people whose, obviously, their lives were changed. One of, remember we had that died um, a few years back was uh, one of the Rosie the Riveters, uh, one of the women who went to work for war production when all the men were off fighting. But it changed how we looked at the world. Um, it obviously changed families as so many folks lost loved ones. It uh, changed our history because even after that war, then we went into the Cold War and so many other things. Um, but, you know, what I always look at about history is it's a reminder to uh, look at where we made mistakes, where the world made mistakes so we don't repeat them. And I think for the most part, we've avoided some of those horrible things. We've tried to stop... Um, you know, horrible leaders by not allowing them to, well, do some of the things that Hitler did, um, like taking a little piece of land at a time, trying to appease them to keep them from starting a, uh, some kind of conflict, which never seems to work, um, to just, you know, trying to uh, do things as, as a world community to keep such uh, uh, events from happening. You know, after World War II, we were able uh, to put together the United Nations, which has done a lot of good over the years. After World War I, they tried to have the League of Nations, and it didn't work, um, partly because the United States didn't support it. But, um, you know, we've made mistakes, we've made progress, but I think as a whole, as a world, we've learned um, from the, the horrors uh, and the tragedies of World War II to... to um, to be able to act in ways that help us avoid um, having some kind of mass conflict to that to that level again. So um, today we pray for uh, for peace in the world and for so many other things. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you for loving us, uh, for calling each one of us uh, to love and serve you and your people. Today we remember uh, the start of uh, a horrible time in our history, a time where. Uh, so many people died uh, where uh, there was so much death and destruction. And um, we pray that, uh, that we never let that happen again. We thank you for brave men and women who made sacrifices uh, for the sake of peace. And we thank you for the brave men and women across the uh, country and, uh, and across the globe, not just in our country, who... Um, work each day uh, to keep peace uh, so that we never have to look at uh, horrors of, of such a um, such a large war and and that we try to avoid war uh, where we can all together. Help us to be peacemakers and uh, to watch out for um, not just uh, those in our own country, but to see how we can be peacemakers in the whole world. Continue to help us uh, where there is strife in the world where um, People are uh, arguing against each other or arguing with each other where, where people are uh, acting out in violence. Please help us to be at peace, to be able to uh, peacefully discuss our differences and where we think changes need to be. Keep us safe and smart, not just in times of uh, upheaval and protest, but uh, keep us safe and smart throughout this pandemic. Uh, Heal us, help us, protect us. 
continue to be with those who uh, were victims of uh, Hurricane Laura, for those uh, who are homeless and victims of uh, the, the wildfires out west, continue to use us to see how we can help them as they try to rebuild their lives. Thank you uh, for being such a peacemaker to us, for loving us, and uh, remind us uh, how we can live following in your footsteps. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.